Hi, I'm Shannon Gavin Johnson, the director of Legacy Museum on Main, and this is a brief moment in LaGrange's history. The state of Georgia has produced an influential crop of painters. Among this pantheon are outsider folk artist Howard Finster from Somerville, African-American modernist Alma Thomas from Columbus, Jasper Johns from Augusta, and modern realist Lamar Dodd, who began his creative endeavors here in LaGrange. Born in Fairburn in 1909, Lamar Dodd was the son of a Baptist minister, the Reverend Francis Jefferson Dodd, and his wife, Etta Cleveland. Reverend Dodd moved his young family to LaGrange in 1914, and they took up residence in his wife's family home, the Oaks on Vernon Street. After showing an interest in art at a young age, Lamar was enrolled in art classes at the age of 12 at LaGrange Female College, which would later become LaGrange College. Following graduation from LaGrange High School, Dodd enrolled in Georgia Tech's School of Architecture. Finding that architecture wasn't for him, Dodd dropped out of Georgia Tech saying that he was just about on the verge of a nervous breakdown. Returning to his artistic roots, he settled in New York City and enrolled in the Art Students League. While there, he studied with painters who were part of what is known as the Ashcan School, a style of painting that focuses on scenes of daily urban life. He also studied with some of the seminal advocates for regional art, such as Thomas Hart Benton and John Stuart Curry, who supported his concentration on scenes from his beloved Georgia. His love for his home state was so evident that a reviewer for his 1932 one-man show in New York remarked that it evoked Georgia, Georgia, Georgia. In 1937, Dodd, despite his lack of a college degree, was appointed a faculty member at the University of Georgia. He immediately set out to create a single school for art for the university by combining all art classes into one department. In 1953, a grant from the Rockefeller Foundation allowed him to travel to Europe and study the old masters. In 1956, as a lecturer for the United States Information Service, he continued to travel the world. He adapted his painting to reflect the scenes and varied techniques he was exposed to in Europe. One curator remarked that traveling liberated his art in every respect. In the 1960s, Dodd was recruited for the NASA art program, which tasked artists with translating the cultural and scientific magnitude of the space missions to a national audience. Then in the late 1970s, after his wife, Mary Ridley Lehman, underwent open heart surgery, Dodd began studying and observing heart surgeries and completed a series of works in response. Having led the UGA Department of Art for nearly a quarter century, Lamar Dodd retired from his post, leaving the university with a renowned art program. In his honor, the department was named the Lamar Dodd School of Art. A similar honor was extended to him here when LaGrange College completed its Lamar Dodd Art Center in 1982. During retirement, Dodd continued painting scenes of Georgia life, nature, as well as tackling some of the controversial themes in the media, including the O.J. Simpson trial and the Oklahoma City bombing. A major retrospective of his work was given at his namesake art center at LaGrange College in 1996, just two days before the end of the exhibition, Lamar Dodd passed away at the age of 87. To learn more about Lamar Dodd and his art, visit the Lamar Dodd Art Center at LaGrange College. This has been a brief moment in LaGrange's history.